Hey everyone, Gorm here. Welcome back to Lord of the Rings Online. Today I'm going to be getting back into Breland, at least the intro zones, before I head off into the other intro zones. This may be the last episode, actually, so let's get into it. We're going to be doing the Midgewater Marshes today, and part of this involves some quests in Staddle that do indeed take us to the Midgewater Marshes. So of those, we have three different NPCs here. We have Constable Tangle Rush, Watcher Redweed, and Watcher Reedy. So let's talk to Watcher Reedy first. Could I speak with you a moment? Ladies first. Everyone's talking about the goblins these days, but I'm worried about something other than the goblins. The sound of the Nikabrikas in the Midgewater Marshes has gotten much louder recently. There are many more of them than there used to be, I'm sure of it. I'm afraid that before long they will move out of the marshes and descend upon the town. If you could kill a few of them, you would be doing this town a great service. The Midgewater Marshes are east of Staddle, beyond Swat Midge's farm. When you are done, seek out Edda Twiggins in the southeastern reaches of the Midgewater Marsh. She will be happy to hear of your progress. And we have these two quests. Would you Scouting do the marshes. something for me? Ah, I'm glad to see you. There are goblins in the Midgewater Marshes, or so it has been told. And if that is the case, we need to know how many we're dealing with. There are two sets of ruins in the southern expanse of the marshes. I would ask you to go to these ruins and defeat any goblins you find. If there are goblins near both ruins, we'll have a better idea of how far they've spread. The first set of ruins are found southeast of Elder Swatmidge's farm, east of Staddle. South of his home is a narrow stretch of land that extends into the marshes and runs right to the sunken stones. The Goblin Hole ruins are far to the east and south of those. When you are done, check in with Bill Mossfoot. He and another member of the Watch have taken up station out in the eastern marshes, just to the southeast of the Midwater ruins. Oh, another quest from him, I forgot. Two chieftains. Might I take a moment of your time? You might be close to dealing the goblins a decisive blow, Gormson. Oh, really? The only thing keeping them from fighting amongst themselves are their uh, uh, loyalty to the two chieftains that are rumored to lead them, Gerstars and Gerzroom. If you were to slay these two chieftains, I think the goblins would fall into squabbling among themselves. Such squabbling will leave them unable to mount an attack on Staddle. The two chieftains will be fairly close together, somewhere in the Goblin Hole ruins, so that each of them can keep an eye on the other. You may need to gather help. Those chieftains will be the strongest of the lot. What do you need? Oh there, what cause have you to be running around like that? Toradon is dead! That can't be, I saw him not too long ago. He had me deliver a message to his kinsmen and the cave across the Midwater Marshes. When I went to deliver the message, I found the cave empty. I'm on duty now, where I'd make the journey across the marshes myself. Maybe you'd go instead? Follow the road out of Staddle to the east, down the slope leading into the marshes. Cross straight through, but be careful. The Midwater Marshes have become a dangerous place of late. Do your best to steer clear of the Marshwater Fort at the heart of the marshes, though. The cave is set at the foot of a tall hill near the entrance to the Midwater Pass. So we have to go and find uh, one of the last members of the rangers that was in the Midwater Marshes. Uh, if you don't remember, in the last episode, Torodon got murdered by Amdir at the beginning of the episode. I know we were doing a bunch of uh, miscellaneous tasks for the Hobbits, but that did indeed happen last episode, in case you forgot, as I almost did if I maybe waited a day. So thankfully I, I'm doing, or recording at least, these episodes back to back. It's currently November 10th, so, uh, you know, we're working on it. But let's make sure we head into the marshes and get some of this stuff done. I'm also thinking, if I have time, I'm going to do some of the deeds in the marshes as well. There are ruins that need exploring too, so that'll be fun. But for now, we're going to cross into the marshes, and the sky looks pretty dark and cloudy right now, so that's perfect timing. And it'll get even spookier once we enter the marshes. <clears throat> So my goal is to do the quests first, and then once I'm done the quests, I'm going to circle back and do the deeds. Which include Nika Breaker Slayer. I'll probably get the ruins as I uncover the ruins, of course, I'll read them. And then same thing with the two other History of the Dunedain objects that exist in this area. So I will make sure to get those done at the same time too.
I do want to increase my melee damage since I'm going to be doing deeds. And one more enemy. The Nika Breakers. And perfect. The sickle flies are a little rarer, so I'm gonna make sure to pick them off as I get to them. The sickle flies do put bleeds on me as well. The sunken stones don't count for the ruins, but a place that does is the goblin hole ruins, and. In those ruins are the two chieftains we need to kill, Gerstas and Gerzrum. One thing I'm gonna do is sneak through these guys. And perfect. Now I'm gonna get on my horse. Also named Midgewater. Because that's where we are right now, the Midgewater Marshes. I didn't name it now, but that's what the horse is named after. I think the default name is pretty good. Although it's maybe a little insulting to name a horse something like that. Or name anybody something like that. Pet or no. But it's fine with me. Now I'm thinking we should just take out the two chieftains the minute we get into the camp. So that's what I'm going to do. And if you're asking why I'm killing the sickle flies more than the Nika Breakers, it is because the sickle flies are a lot rarer than the Nika Breakers. So it's beneficial, of course, then to kill them first. One thing that is great is these shattered pitchers are in the goblin hole ruins as well, which scholar items are rare right now. Uh, let's read the Goblin Hole Ruins. Little is known of this ancient pile of rubble, except that the goblins have chosen to roost here, a cause for concern to the men of Bree. As it should be. Now I'm gonna move my uh, tracker up there, because as you can see, we're in the middle of the marshes, and they're all the way down here. Um, so the two chieftains will be within this camp here. So, here's the first one. There's room. Or, technically, the second. But, that doesn't matter. Let's take him out. Perfect. And Gerstas is up right near that little ruin there. So, oh, thank goodness none of them saw me. And if you're asking why I'm sneaking to do this, it's because there's a quest to kill sappers, so I figured I wouldn't waste any of my kills, and just take out the targets I need for now. Because we'll kill plenty of more goblins in just a minute. And with only 8 minutes in, having gotten done those introductory quests, we're on a good track. Scouting the marshes. So this was killing the goblins at the two sets of ruins. It's as I feared, Gomson. If the goblins have already spread so far throughout the Midgewater marshes, they intend to stay. If it were not for the spider infestation at the ruins in the northern stretch of the marshes, I would expect the goblins to seize those as well. Oh, sappers. Here we go. The increasing number of goblins in the Midwater Marshes troubles me, true, but I am even more concerned about the weapons some of them appear to be wielding. Swords and axes are bad enough, but the strange oil some of these goblins carry is likely to do much greater damage. I am not thinking only of the farms and crops of Staddle, though the threat of fire to food and pipeweed is immense. I am thinking of the Little Folk. This is a threat beyond them, I think. The more of those fire-wielding goblins we can defeat here in the marshes, the fewer will remain to threaten Staddle. I need you to deal with them, and quickly. 
Well done, Gormson, but these two dealt with, I think our immediate concerns for Staddle will be closed. Return to Watcher Redweed and Staddle and tell him of your success here. Well, we're not going to do that yet, but that would be the next uh, step, of course. What can I do for you? Now, this is killing Nika Breakers, so this will be the beastie area of the marshes, not the goblins. Bill is obviously equipped to fight them. I mean, he looks like he's dressed like a ranger. So he probably has a bow and arrow and a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, excellent, Gormson. It will be a while before the Nikabrika population again grows to be a threat to Staddle. It is good to know that I can rely on you to deal with dangers to the town that do not walk on two legs. Still, I fear everyone is so excited about the goblins that they've forgotten that the other dangers lurk in the marshes. There is another threat I would ask your assistance with. Could I speak with you a moment? The Midgewater Marshes hide many dangerous creatures that you've seen, and I intend to make sure that all threats to the people of Staddle are addressed. I've heard the farmers complaining about finding a particularly deadly breed of spider crawling in their fields. It seems that their presence is focused somewhere between the old Marshwater Fort and the Wood's Edge ruins in the marshes. They have overrun both of those old ruins. I worry that it, what might happen if they decide to come to Staddle in greater numbers. I would appreciate it if you would lessen the threat by killing a few of the dreadful creatures and their queen. And who's this here? Neeker friend. That's interesting. Will it give me a moment of your time, friend? Hello there. Enjoying a nice stroll through the marshes. I don't meet too many folk that can stand the smell or the bugs or the damp. So it's always nice to meet a kindred spirit. Say hello, Snicken. Who's a good boy then? The Nika Breaker in the cage responds only with an angry clicking sound. That wasn't nice, Snicken. I don't know what's gotten into you. He might be hungry. In fact, he might be wanting his favorite food, sicklefly wings. If you kill a few of the greater sicklefly's, you might have enough wings to satisfy Snicken. That might cheer him up. I don't know if Snicken is your friend, my guy. It seems like they're... I don't know. I, I just think the fact that crickets aren't supposed to grow to that size, and that the giant spiders are naturally mean and nasty, I don't think becoming friends with uh, a Nika Breaker is something that might be possible. I don't mean to shatter his dreams, but I have a feeling I'm right. But he could prove me wrong. I don't know. If he does, I'd be grateful, of course. I hope that they can coexist with Nika Breakers, maybe train them as pets. That would be pretty cool, right? I just don't think it's very likely that that's going to happen. You're just gonna stand in the fire like that, you weirdo? He made me walk into the fire. He made me do it. Oh, there we go. Perfect. And I'm just gonna get this one after me now. Nice, so it seems like sneak attacking them is the best way to drop the aggro early on. So we'll use that tactic on the next one. Oh, here's another one. I'm gonna use the bleed one instead of just the melee attack. Perfect. And this is a greater sickle fly over here. Oh, 
That's the Lone Lands. Definitely don't want to go there yet. Okay. Two more sappers, and then I'll be done with the goblins. And no bleeds on me, so that's good. Maybe that's worse. I'll be fine. Uh, one more sapper. This will be my next victim over here. And he's gonna get the jump on me, isn't he? <laughs> oh, maybe not. He seems to have forgotten what he's supposed to do. I don't know how. It looked like he was holding the bomb, but he didn't drop it. So... Who knows how that works, but I'm not going to ask questions if it benefits me. So let's just leave that as it is. Uh, let me remove that as my quest guide focus also. I do have the Neeker Friends quest as well, so let's turn both of them in. What can I do for you? Those wings are just the kind that Snickin likes. You saved me some trouble hunting down those great sickle flies. Now, here's a treat for you. I'll give you the key to my chest over there. I put all the treasures I find in the marshes in there. Maybe you'll find something you like. And next time you take a pleasant stroll through the Midwater marshes, stop by and say hello. Look what the nice folks brought you, Snickin. Ooh. Good stuff. Got some potions. Here you go. Ouch. Careful, Snickin. Neuron took my finger off. Yeah, I don't think he likes you. You've dealt with those goblins. Well done, Gormson. The goblins in the marshes are still a threat, but now they should be easier to deal with. You have my thanks, Gormson, and now you have some more coin for your trouble. I'll always take more money. More money is always good. So, up there is the Marshwater Fort. Which is where they said the spiders were, too. I am gonna start fighting a bit of these sickle flies, by the way. Perfect. There are two more Dunedine items and ruins in here as well. So let's look at the Marshwater Fort. Should pop up in just a moment. This spider infested ruin lies at the center of the Midwater Marshes. It's rumored that the wandering rangers frequent this ancient fortress. 
ancient altar. An ancient altar of Arnorian construction, upon which you can find evidence of recent activity, as if some rite or ritual had been held here. Hopefully not a sacrifice, right? It looks like they're just flowers. You have discovered an ancient altar of the Dunedain amongst the ruins. Let's see, ancient altar. The strange altar you found appeared to be Arnorian in origin, with signs of some gathering or ritual to having taken place. Recently, you've heard rumors that the rangers here in the north occasionally gather for ceremony to declare the coming of age of one of their number, where they induct a young man or woman into their ranks by way of an oath to the old kingdoms. So that's likely what happened. Now I need to get, I need to get this loot and the scholar item before whatever player killed an enemy over there gets it. Because scholar items are rare, and loot is kind of rare. But regardless of how rare co cocoon loot is, I want it. So therefore, it must be mine. And here's the Marsh Queen as well, which is another thing I need to kill before that other player gets here. Now I can use the simple Athelus Essences. So what that means is, is I can just start selling the other ones, right? Let me keep the above weather top painting, the dim candle as well. Uh, yeah. Keep those, sell the rest. Let's get rid of the lesser Athelus now. Perfect. I'm going to use the Weaponsmith scroll case. Bronze mace. I don't think I'm going to use that. I'm probably only going to use the daggers. Now, the Wood's Edge ruins are the other ruins around here, so let's make sure we get those, too. And once I get that, I'm probably gonna do a time lapse or speed up the time at least with the remaining remaining uh, deeds in the Midwater Marshes, which will be Slayer deeds. So that means they will take a long time. And I got all the spiders done, so that's good. Now this is the Woods Edge ruins up ahead. And this is the other set of ruins in the marsh. It technically counts as Chetwood, although it's like submerged, so I'm counting it as part of the Midgewater Marshes. But let's see. These ancient ruins stand at the edge of the Midgewater Marshes and the Chetwood, a, mere, a meager remnant of a long-forgotten age. So... You can see why I chose to put them in here. Uh, let's get the ancient obelisk. And there is another scholar item up there, a shattered pitcher. So let me get that first, because I think I can actually select it from down here. Okay, that's pretty cool. So now that's in our corner. Let us go up here. Unlock this. And I am going to use battle lore and warding lore for the rest. So you have discovered an ancient obelisk of the Dunedain among the ruins. And what does it say? You found an old obelisk out among the Arnorian ruins, seemingly newer than the ruins themselves. Uh, your only guess is that it must be some sort of memorial. The design and style of the names you saw there suggest that it was built by the Dunedain. And given their reverence for their ancestors, there's every reason to believe that it may be a memorial for the Fallen. Some of the 
names seem to be have been added recently, suggesting that the rangers are somehow involved. Well, that's not good. We don't want more dead people. So now I'm going to begin the time lapse of Slayer Deeds. We just got Spider Slayer. Nice. I'll uh, read Spider Slayer. I also have Virtue Cap reached almost. Oh, not yet. Uh, let's go with that. Determination next. But let's read this. Strange monstrous spiders have crept into the Breeland from the dark corners of Mirkwood beyond the Misty Mountains in the east. Your courage will be tested against the spider infestation spreading through the forests and marshes of Breeland. Spiders have become quite a threat of late in Breeland, but your prowess against them is well known. just got sickle fly slayer done it says with the passing of the black riders from the east the disease bearing sickle flies of the midgewater marshes have begun to breed more rapidly threatening to spread contagion among the inhabitants of breland you are tasked with ending the threat of the sickle flies plague and it says people may snicker but how many of them have had to fight one of the giant bloodsuckers and that gives a uh, reference to the title fly swatter which is pretty funny i guess for killing giant flies although being a fly swatter in you know, most people think that is pretty menial, because most flies are small, but they've never seen the sickle flies, of, co of course.
Perfect. Now we have the third Nuka Breaker, or third deed done, I mean, not Nuka Breaker. Uh, the Midwater Marshes are home to the Nuka Breakers, a variety of annoying insect that has recently become hostile following the passage of Black Riders from the East. You are called to halt the plague of Nuka Breakers. Who would ever have thought that Nuka Breakers could grow that big? And of course, that's in reference to crickets, because they are giant crickets. I'm going to use some destiny points, by the way, because maybe I'll be able to get to level 17 while I do this. Okay, so I'm gonna turn in this last quest right here with added twiggins. What can I do? Good for you, Gomson. Without the Marsh Queen, it will be a long time before the spiders once again pose a threat to the town. Now that I am satisfied with the menace of the Midgewater Marshes it has been overcome, I'll lend a hand to Redbeard with those goblins. If the beastly things come too near to the town, I'll be sure to let you know, Gomson. Alright, perfect.
All right, nice. We got that done. Let's uh, read it. It says, Strange monstrous spiders have crept into Breland from the dark corners of Mirkwood. Oh, wait. I already read that. That's kind of like the deed before. Okay, never mind then. I am going to get the sickle fly deed right now. So that'll be great. And then I'll have to double back around to the western parts of the marshes. And once I get there, I'll be able to finish this up with the rest of the Nico Breakers. Okay, this should be the last Nika Breaker I need to kill, finally. And I think it just repeats the text that is over to the left. So now it's time to finish off the Midwater Marshes. So let's head over to the northeast. And speak with a ranger. I also do want to sell all of this stuff, so let's see how much money I made from this. Uh, 367 silver, pretty good, so we have enough to buy our first reputation horse, whichever one that might be. Here's Mundel. Delay not, it is too late for me. I'm dear, I'm dear, right ahead, arrived ahead of you. He uh, must be stopped. The nine must not take him. Please, there is but one last of my kid in the Midwater Marshes. Renny Olind is his name, a young scholar of my kind. He was not here when Amdir came, and may yet be alive. Go to him quickly. He had gone to study in the ruins of the old Marshwater Fort at the center of the marshes. You must tell him, warn him, to beware Amdir's scream. So let's go do that. This fort that we've been 
right next to so many times. We're finally going to be done with it. I also completed the final quest deed of Breland, which is pretty cool. It's about time. So let's head inside the fortress. Amdir, quickly falling into the shadows of the Wraith World, has slain two of his brethren already, and seeks the blood of a third. Greetings. Toradon and Mundal have both perished. This is almost beyond belief. I was sent here to keep watch after the Nazgul drove us from the Shire, but it now appears my watch has been for naught. We must go at once to the chieftain of my kindred, the Bremen Colin Strider. There is a quicker path than the one you took back to the safety of Bree. Follow me, and I will lead you through the caves beneath the marshes. This way, hurry. These torches always seem to fail. Did the water stifle these flames? Finish off some more of these spiders while we're down here. Nice. And these crawlers, too. Perfect. Alright, Renny Lind, let's go. Let me see the, to the darkness before us. Did you hear something? I'm dear. I'm dear, my friend. I know it is not really you that does these things. I am not what you once believed. Yes, yes you are. Let me help you. Never! Morin will deal with you. Uh-oh, that's a giant spider. What do you need? Amdir is running free. Go at once, find Strider and Bree. He is my chieftain and should be made aware of all that has happened. Talk to uh, Barlaman Butterbird, the Prancing Pony. He will know where Aragorn is. Take the door from this room and you will... Uh, Find yourself on the western edge of the Midwater Marshes. Go west from there, and south and west along the road to Bree. Saruman's treachery has delayed me too long. I can only hope that Frodo and Sam have left the Shire. Without my aid, their road will be a perilous one. Frodo must rely upon the rangers and your prowess to see him to the end. 